Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date is December 11, 2016. Our words for discussion is indication. In Matthew 17, 5, while he was still speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In Luke 8, 28, seeing Jesus, he cried out, and fell before him and said in a loud voice, What business do we have with each other? Jesus, Son of the Most High God, I beg you, do not torment me. In John 1.14, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. 1 Corinthians 15.28, when all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself, also we, will be subjected to the one who subjected all things to him, so that God may be all in all. In Hebrews 1, 5, For to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my Son, today I have begotten you, and again I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. This word defined as anything serving to indicate or point out as a sign or token. When Jesus was baptized by his second cousin, John the Baptist, God acknowledged his son. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. A demon-possessed man asked Jesus, What business do you have with me when Jesus cast out the demons? As Jesus ascended into heaven, he promised that he would send a helper or comforter to help his disciples. When we reject Jesus, we also reject the Father. Now, I'm all dressed up uh, fancy, and the reason is uh, our church, First Baptist Church, Universal City, is having a Heart of Christmas event at 5 p.m. again today for the second time. And I'm part of that. I'm just thankful. And it will be a blessing to all those who attend. I ask you to attend. Have a blessed day.